Hello artists! For this project, we are going to be making a flamingo. You're going to need some paper, a pencil to draw with, something dark to trace in, and something to color with. You can use any coloring supplies you would like, choose your favorite, or choose one you don't use too often. What we're going to do is we're going to decide how we want to hold our paper. You could hold it this way and choose somewhere to draw a smaller flamingo, or you can hold your paper in the portrait fashion, which is nice and tall, which will give you plenty of space to make a large flamingo and a little bit of background. I'm going to be holding my paper this way so I can make my flamingo nice and big. To begin, I will start with a straight horizontal line somewhere near the center of my paper. Notice I left plenty of room on either side so I can add details and that my flamingo does not touch the sides of the paper. Then, we're going to begin making the body with a curved line. Do you see how I practice in the air before I make the line? That helps prepare myself to make the line the best that I can. We can make a little ring by making one straight line going this way and making it look like a V here and you can make some curved lines for some feathers. For the very long neck, we are going to almost make like a candy cane shape. So, I am going to take my pencil I'm going to start somewhere near this side of the paper near the top, leaving myself room to go up and then down. I'm going to go here and I'm really going to curve. So I'm going around and I'm not going to stop at the very edge. I'm actually going to stop a little bit further here. Do you see how this looks like a candy cane? Remember, you can practice doing it in the air first before you draw it. Then, I'm going to do that same exact line, but a little smaller. This time, starting here at this point and ending right here. We can make some details. Flamingos are mostly pink, but they do have some parts of them that are black and white. So let's make those. The pink usually is the color black. And then parts of the face that touch the beak can sometimes have some white. Even the beak could be a little bit white on the end. So I'm going to make a little line in half so it starts to look like the mouth. Since we're coloring this black, you won't see this line, but I drew it for you so you can really see how the mouth looks. We're going to make a curved line for the white patch around its eye and a little eye. Remember, you can make any type of eye you want. You can just make it a circle with a shine mark. You can do something with two shine marks. You can add another row around it, like another curved line if you wanted to add a color around it. Whatever you do, that's your choice. 
You can even make the eye close by putting that curved line. Then, we're going to start with the legs. For the legs, we can make one going straight down. One. Two lines. You can add the foot by making some diagonal lines like this. One goes up, one goes down. And do a little zigzag line in between for some toes. We can also add the second leg, which is bent because they always stand on one leg when they're in one spot. So we can bend, 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 bend. We make two lines so it doesn't look like our flamingo is standing on a stick, but on the leg that is nice and strong to hold up the animal. We can add a cute little tail with two lines, again, looking like the letter L or V, and those same type of curve lines, just like this. You can find flamingos in Caribbean-like places with beaches that have sand. They usually hang out around water because they love to eat shrimp and different smaller fish and creatures from the ocean. Adding some wave lines so people can tell the difference between what is going to be my sand and my water. We can add some greens behind it to really make our background nice and interesting. And I think, hmm, maybe we could add another detail. Let's put a small mountain over it, a little curved line, and add a really cool beach hut. For that, we would make the regular house that we know, that looks like the triangle on top of the square. We can make a door, and to make this look more like a beach hut, let's add the lines. So it looks like it's made of different types of straw and plants. So those ones start at the tippy top and kind of fan out where the ones that I'm going to put on the main part will be straight up and down. You can add any extra details that you would like, like a sun. I'm going to make one kind of poking behind here. You can make clouds, you can make birds. Maybe you're going to draw a teeny tiny flamingo over here like it's standing in the water. You can add any details you want. Once you're done drawing, Make sure that you trace in a dark color and then color it in. Try to leave only white spots that you need to be white. Try not to leave white in the water or on the pink flamingo's feathers or in the sun, but it's okay to add white on the parts of the bird that are white. Maybe if you added clouds things like that. You want your picture to look complete. I'm going to fast forward through me coloring my picture. That way you can see what mine will look like at the end and I can't wait to see yours. Enjoy and have a great day.